Billy and Molly saw a new boy arriving at school. Welcome! I wonder who he is, what his name is. I hope he likes riddles. All likes to go on adventures. All likes yellow. <laughs> I reckon he looks weird. Oh, Humphrey, he might be nice. You don't know. Okay, so we'll we'll find out in a minute. Yeah, I can't wait. All right, everyone. <laughs> We have a new person joining our class. This is Alf. We'll say hello. Hello, Alf. Alf, would you like to say something? Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me in your class. He talks funny. <laughs> <laughs> he has an accent, Humphrey, and so do I. Do I talk funny, Humphrey? Hmm? No, Miss Blythe. Right. Alf comes from another country. That's why he has an accent. His own country isn't a safe place to live anymore. So he's making a new start right here. I hope you'll all make him feel welcome. Millie and Molly, will you look after Alf, please? Sure. Yes, Miss Blythe. <laughs> Millie and Molly tried to make friends with Alf. Kick it here! But Alf was different somehow. What's your old country like, Alf? Did it have jungles and wild animals? I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Who was that lady who brought you to school? That's my nan. I have a nanny too. Does she live in the caravan? Um, no. I live with nan in our caravan. Oh. What about your mum and dad? I don't have a mum and dad. I just have nan. It's your kick again, Humphrey. your shoes, did ya? I don't have any shoes. Well, not any. No. <laughs> hey, Alf doesn't have any shoes. <laughs> <laughs> don't be mean. What? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> 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 don't laugh at me. Want help? You. Leave me alone, you weirdo. Alf? Would you like to come and visit at my house after school? You can meet Marmalade. Marmalade? My pet cat. I'll bring Tomcat. We can play with them. OK. Please, come back. But Alf didn't know how to play with cats. But I won't hurt you, pussycat. He never had a pet before. Don't worry, Alf. Marmalade just doesn't like strangers. Tomcat neither. But next time, you should just strike them. Padding hard is only for dogs. Sorry. Will they come back? Um, eventually. Everything Alf did was different, even the way he learned. He was good at spelling because he helped his nan do the crossword. Eight letter word, big building with lots of patients. Hospital. H O S P I T A L. Good boy. We thought we'd never find you. Nothing to be frightened about, Tomcat. Pussy girls! <laughs> Molly, come back! And Alf was good at sums because he helped the butcher count out the change. 10, 20, and 20 is 50. Thank you, Alf. Molly, Tomcat! <laughs> Some people didn't like Alf just because he was different. You're not supposed to swim in your shorts. Where's your bathing suit? I don't have one. <laughs> no swimmers, weirdo! Humphrey, be nice. Alf's on his own over there. I thought you two were trying to help Alf feel welcome, be his friends. We have been trying, Miss Blythe, but... He doesn't like riddles, and... I know he's a little different, but we're all different. You, Millie, you like adventure, and you'd rather paint Molly. But you're still friends, aren't you? Best friends. 
But we both like dolls and yellow and stripes. Perhaps there's something you both like that Alf might like too. Try. We'll just think about it. Now remember, everyone, don't forget tomorrow is come as you want to be day. Dress up and show everyone what you want to be when you grow up. All right? Yay! The next day, everyone was excited about come as you want to be day. Oh, a pirate! Arr! And you, Poppy, I see you want to be a business person. Well done. And Tom, a fireman. And Millie, let me guess, an adventurer? <laughs> and I'm going to be a famous artist. Very good. Stand back. Oh, who have we here, Humphrey? I'm not Humphrey. I'm Blue Man, superhero from outer space. Come to save the world from Destructo robots and man-eating dinosaurs. <laughs> Can you please save the planet over there and let hmm. someone else in the door? Yeah! Here I come. <laughs> Look at Alf. Alf? You know it's come as you want to be day, don't you? Yes. Well, you haven't dressed up as anything. What do you want to be? I just like being myself. <laughs> of course you do, Alf. Why can't you do anything normal? No one likes you, Alf. No one wants to be your friend. Humphrey, that's not a very nice thing to say at all. Well, it's what everyone thinks. No, it isn't. Alf's coming to my house again this afternoon with Molly. And we're going to have fun together, all three of us. Millie and Molly had decided they would try extra hard to be friends with Alf. Did you find your cuts? Oh, yes. But Mum is having a holiday at my place with Tomcat. Oh. I like your cats. We've got a surprise for you. Something we can all do together. We know you're good with sums and reading and spelling. So, we thought you could help us do some cooking. You can help us by reading the recipe and counting up all the things that should go in the bowl. And Millie and I can mix. No. Oh. oh. But we thought... I want to mix too. OK. Good. <laughs> A cup of breadcrumbs and mix. Look, Alfred and Tom Cat. Shh, pretend they're not here. Did you have a good time? Yes. We're going to do it again this afternoon. Wonderful. Humphrey? Yes, Miss Blythe? Why are you wearing that beanie? It's not cold. I'm cold. What's going on, Humphrey? I... Uh, the blue from yesterday wouldn't wash out of my hair. Oh, it can't be that bad. Can we see? <laughs> no! Everyone will laugh! Humphrey? All that morning. Looked for Humphrey. Humphrey, come on out! Humphrey! 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 Go away! Why? You laugh at me. No, I won't. You will. I don't laugh at other people. Well, everyone else is going to think this is funny. I look stupid. Blue hair just makes you different. I don't want to be different. My nan says different makes you special instead of just the same as everyone else. Special? 
Nan says people only laugh because they're glad they're not the ones being laughed at. Your Nan's a pretty smart person, Alf. I know. Humphrey, are you ready to come back into the class now? Well, only if Alf sits with me. So Humphrey sat next to his new best friend for the rest of the year. Yeah! And nobody cheered harder than Humphrey when Alf won that year's prize for being best all-rounder. Of course, Millie and Molly were pretty loud too. We knew you were the best, Bella. Yeah! Alf finally smiled. But he never smiled so much as when his friends, Millie and Molly, showed him how to stroke cats without frightening them. I think there's cats like you, Alf. <laughs> to drink all the pool water, Molly. Leave some for the other people to swim in. <laughs> <coughs> you two just keep trying. You'll get there. Look at Miss Blythe. She keeps trying and she can't swim at all. Uh, can I have a bit of help, please? Uh, I don't seem to be able to get to the edge of the pool. Coming. <laughs> Come on, girls. Time to get out. to get tomorrow. But you need to learn to swim. It's fun. But Miss Blythe can't swim. Can't we wait till a grown-up like her, please? It's much harder to learn when you're older. But I get water up my nose. <sighs> Let's talk about it later. I'm going to push it up, up into the sky. <laughs> Not too high. <laughs> Taffy? Taffy Bubble! <laughs> Naughty dog. Now look what you've done. Dear, oh dear, my poor garden. <laughs> What's Taffy Bogle done now? Just look at my lovely geraniums. Oh, it's not really his fault. He doesn't get a walk often enough. Can't keep up with the young fella. He's got to work off his energy somehow. He loves a game. Oh. Bogle doesn't bite or anything, but it's good to ask before you play with a dog you don't know. Fetch! <coughs> ah! Pity this yard's so small. He really needs to get out. We could take Taffy Bogle for a walk, couldn't we, Molly? Uh, um... That's a very nice offer, Millie, but I'm not sure Molly likes Taffy Bogle. Come on, Molly. You throw the stick. He won't hurt you. Don't worry. Try. Mm-hmm. I'll try. Fetch! <laughs> See? He brought it back. <laughs> oh. Looks like you've made a friend there, Molly. <laughs> It means he likes you. 
<laughs> Good boy. Good boy. OK. Maybe you can take Taffy Bogle for a walk. Millie and Molly got permission from their parents, but Mr Limpy still wanted to make sure that Taffy Bogle would behave for them on their walk. That'll do. OK. Call him. Taffy Bogle. Taffy Bogle. Come on, boy. <coughs> Come here, Taffy. Good boy. Even though Taffy Bogle came when he was called, Mr Limpy was still a little worried. He'd never let his lovely dog out of his sight before, and Taffy Bogle was Mr Limpy's only family. Be a good boy on your walk. Thanks, girls. Now he mustn't be late for dinner. He won't. And make sure you don't go near the river. Taffy Bogle can't swim. Neither can we. <laughs> Come on, Taffy Bogle. Good boy. We're going to have a nice walk, aren't we? Oh. Millie and Molly were surprised at how many telegraph poles. And fences and letter boxes. Taffy Bogle left messages for other dogs to sniff. Millie and Molly decided that Taffy Bogle must have had a lot to say. <laughs> and Molly thought it was funny that when dogs did meet, they talked to each other by sniffing in strange places. But whenever Millie and Molly called, come on, Taffy Bogle. Taffy Bogle came straight away. Just then, Taffy Bogle saw something else. It was his favourite toy, a stick. Look, he's playing that stick game again. We'll grab him when he brings it back. But remember what Mr Limpy said. Taffy Bogle can't swim. Hold on, Taffy Bogle. Poor Taffy Bogle. The river's current was very strong. Bush Bob was enjoying his fishing when he heard Millie and Molly call out. Bush Bob! Bush Bob! Hmm? Can you save Taffy Bogle? He can't swim and he mustn't be late for dinner. Bush Bob tried hard but couldn't reach Taffy oh. Bogle. Oh, no. oh, sorry. You'd better hurry. We can't reach him from up here. Miss Black, can you save Taffy Bogle? He can't swim and he mustn't be late for dinner. Sorry, girls, but I can't swim either. You'll have to catch him further down the stream. There he is. Soon the water was wide and deep, and the ferryman was too busy dealing with some passengers to notice a little dog. But what difference would it make? I'm not sitting next to him. What makes you think I would want to sit next to you? But you like the same things. You both love... Mr Ferryman, huh? help her. What? Can you save Taffy Bogle? He can't swim anymore. But the ferry was only for crossing the river. It couldn't save Taffy Bogle. I'll get help. If only I had a phone. Here, Here use, use my, my phone. phone. Hmm. But poor Taffy Bogle kept being swept by the river all the way out to sea. Oh, no! Billy and Molly were very upset and wondered what they'd say to Mr Limpy who'd be waiting for his dog to come home for dinner. Taffy Bogle was all the family Mr Limpy had. <laughs> I'd like to rescue helicopter! 
Has someone lost a dog that can't swim and mustn't be late for dinner? Yes, us! Happy Boy Boy in the sea! Will you rescue him? Can we help? The helicopter soon took off. Taffy Bogle was only a little dog in a very big sea. energy to wag his funny little tail. And he was still wagging his funny little tail when the helicopter winched him up. And he wagged his funny little tail especially hard when Millie and Molly nursed and stroked and dried him. But Millie and Molly still had to get Taffy Bogle home before he was late for dinner. They ran back through the park. Back past the swimming pool. Back past the school. home before he was late for dinner. dinner, Mr Limpy was in for a surprise. Well, well, you must have given Taffy Bogle a good walk. He's never been too tired to eat his dinner before. Looks like he won't be digging up my garden either. Can you give him another walk tomorrow? Yes, we'd like to. But it'll have to be after our swimming lessons. Oh yes, we have to go to our swimming lessons. We need to know how to swim. After your swimming lessons, then, maybe Taffy Bogle should have some swimming lessons too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr Limpy, on tomorrow's walk, can we take Taffy Bogle on a lead? Well, of course. 